I ordered some lithium battery cells that come out of a Nissan Leaf from Green Tech Auto. And they just come in. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Seems to be nicely packed. Well, these divider come right out. All right. Let's get them out of the box and see what they look like. For quick reference, these are the cells that I got. And they're listed from a Nissan LEAF vehicle. They're the G2 or Generation 2 cells from a 2014 vehicle. And they're tested at 7.6 volts per module and 43 amp hours. Alrighty, let's scroll down and check this other information here. So they're lithium ion MIMN204 LINIO2. Made in Japan. It's a chemical, chemical composition. They're the pouch style. And they're out of a Nissan Leaf. The specs here maximum cell voltage per cell is 2. 4.15 volts, or nominal 3.8 volts, minimum 2.5 volts, and then the mo module voltage is double the cell voltage, so it's 8.3 volts maximum, 7.6 nominal, and 5 volts minimum. There's more info on the specs. The weight, they weigh a little over 8 pounds per module. There are four cells inside each one of the modules, which is two in two cells in series and two cells in parallel. They're just under 12 inches long, just under about eight inches wide, and a little over an inch thick each. Weigh about eight pounds. More information on the cell specifications of these specific type of battery cells. Alright, I got them all out of the box in the protective packaging. Here's what our cells actually look like. You got a negative terminal, a center terminal, a positive terminal. upper and lower metal cover and they seem to have sent four of this style and three of this style seven all together which will make our 14S battery pack Alrighty, I got our battery pack all stacked up. So we staggered them. You got one this way, 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 and one this way. That way you got negative terminal, and then positive, and then negative, and then positive, and so forth all the way up. So let's say this is our main negative output terminal. These two would be bridged, and then these two would be bridged, and then these two, and then these two, and then that would be your positive output. That way all of our seven batteries would be in series. And every cell has these holes in all four corners with inserts. That way you can line them up and bold them all together. And even put a, a metal cover on both ends to kind of give them some compression. And probably also use it for mounting purposes. 
Alright, I got our multimeter out here and hooked up to our first battery or probing it. It's showing 7.3 volts for the complete module. We can use the center tap here to test the individual cell parallels, I guess you would say, because there's two cells in parallel and then two more cells in parallel and then they're put together in series. So our two cells are showing 3.65 on, let's say, the negative side. And on the positive side, our two, shell, two cells are showing, if I can hold it still here, 3.67 volts. I went ahead and numbered our modules. So it'll be module one, module two, Module 3, Module 4, Module 5, Module 6, and Module 7. And then we'll take some readings, initial readings from each module. So Module 1, the left half, I guess you would call it, is 3.62 volts. So I noted down 3.62 volts. The right half of the module comes out just a hair higher at 3.63 volts. So I noted that on our notepad as well. Then if we move our terminal over to here, it tells us what the whole module voltage is. So the module number one total voltage is 7.25. Now we'll do this for all the modules and see where we're at. Alright, we're down to our number 7 module. It's coming in about 7.26 volts as well. So all in all, pretty much all 7 modules are pretty close. More to come.